All right, so I'm back. So yeah, that was Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings. We'll go ahead with the album right now. Uh, up next, though, this, this is this is it. This is the shit right here, The Ring. Now I think okay. The basic plot on this one is, if you guys have seen my Ringu review, you know the plot of this already. I ain't know you guys have already seen this, but fuck it, I'm doing a review. So you will sit there and listen to what I'm saying. Suck it. Uh, basically, you know, there's a curse videotaped, and it's like an herbal legend kind of thing. When you watch it, you know, you get a phone call, and then voice tells you you will die in seven days. Got you know a week to find out you die. Well. This one girl watched at the very beginning where her aunt was is a, a reporter. So now she is you know investigating, she gets caught up in it. Uh yes, I stayed for this is well, this is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Like this is top notch. Now I said I have kind of watched it, you know, a lot since then. I'm not saying it has the same impact now it has. It's still creepy as shit to watch. Like I'm still kinda of jumping on little things. I'm not afraid to admit it. Like I'm not, I, I'm I'm comfortable with myself. The admit with you guys, my, my fans, I feel like we got a bond now. This is what, episode six now? I feel like I can tell you guys. I don't mind telling you. I, I still jump on this sometimes. All right. Uh, you know, I got a story. I don't know if I told you a story last time. Cause I remember, uh, well, actually, it was when uh, my, my brother Lynch was here. We talked about our scariest moves and everything. So I can't remember if I told you this story or not. And I'm going to tell it anyway. So, you know, if you already heard it, skip the head, you know, a minute or so, whatever. Uh, me and my ex girlfriend at the time. We watched this movie, and once again, I, I was scared. And I, I wasn't jumping a lot while I was watching it. Like there was a jump scenes I had, you know, whatever. But it didn't really hit me until I like I started thinking about it later on. I was like, it, it just it kind of, it sticks with you. So, anyways, you know, that night we're laying in bed, and I'm looking at the TV. I can see the fucking TV right here. I'm looking at it, I'm like, and the whole time I was like, this thing's gonna fucking kick on. Oh, dude, and I, I would, I, if they would have kicked on this night, I would have shit my pants. I mean, that's all there is to it. Like, I would have just thrown her into, you know, Samara, and I would have got the fuck out of there. But the whole time, like, I'm laying in bed. I mean, you know, you know I got her. I'm playing her. But I'm looking at the TV. Like, I'm not asleep. I'm looking at this thing. I'm telling you, like, a half hour plus goes by after we turn the lights out. And I'm just like, looking at this. I'm like, God damn it. Like, this thing, I can't sleep. I can't sleep with this TV facing me. Like, something's going to come out the back. Like, water's going to drip out of it, and then, boom, I'm going to see a well, and then she's going to come out at me. And then, in the darkness, I can hear, you know, movie phantom, or are you, are you awake? And I'm like, no, what, what do you, you know, I'm, I'm pretending like I was sleeping, because that's kind of asshole I am, you know. And she's like, can we turn the TV around? And I'm like, what, you want to turn, what? are you kidding me? God, you know what, fuck it, I'll turn the TV, and I, I'm acting like a dick, like I'm, it, it, but inside I'm just like, oh, thank God. Thank God we're turning this TV around because I got I gotta get some sleep, you know. So I get up, act like an ass, like, oh, fuck, I'm turning the TV around. For the whole time, I'm, you know, I'm touching the TV, I'm like, oh, guys, this thing will kick on. Boom, turn the TV around. I get back in bed, go back to bed. Act like, you know, like an asshole, but I'm not going to lie, deep down, I was glad to get this thing turned around. And yeah, I mean, and to this day, I mean, it still freaks me out. Like, I'm, like the long haired look, like, the, this is the movie that, you know, they, they stole it. This is the first one to kind of steal the long haired dead girl look from Japan. And of course, it inspired like a bunch of American remakes with the long hair dead girl. But this is the first one. And it's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. I'm not gonna lie, it stuck with me. Like this thing was just freaky as shit. So, yes, uh, everything about this movie is awesome. Like, like the acting's top line. I, and what makes this one better than the original, in my opinion, is I think it's just they flesh out the characters a little bit more. Uh, there's, you, sh you see a little bit more about the relationship between the, the mother and her son, which the son did a great job. Uh, he has this creepiness to him, but at the same time, like, he has his shit together. Like, he's got his shit more together than the two adults, who are his parents, actually. Uh, you know, yes, uh, you know, the directing is brilliant. Like, dude, it has this eerie, dark moodiness through the whole fucking thing. Like, it has this dark feel. It's always fucking gloomy. Like, there is rarely a scene. I think there's, like, one scene in the whole movie where it's sunny, but it's, like, in Seattle. I don't know where the movie takes place. Like, it's up in, you know, the Northwest. But it's, it's like it's sunny, but it's still fucking gloomy. I can't explain it. It's just, the whole movie just has this rainy feel. And the director is, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, I always do, uh, Gore Fieschi, Bereschi, Verb Ineski, fuck it. He did the pirate movies. But he started out with this. I'm like, this guy needs to do more horror movies. Like, this guy, he just nails it every fucking time. And I don't think he's touched a horror movie since. Like he just kind of he did pirates. He's like, oh fuck it, I'm a you know I'm a big shot now. And he does his thing. And don't get me wrong, he's good on the pirate movies. Like I think the pirate movies are really good. 
But, dude, I want to see you do more movies like this. Because I know you're obviously out there listening. Do like, you know, do movies like this. I don't say don't do The Ring again. Do your own thing. Yes, brilliant. It's just brilliant. Uh, one thing everybody like, hated about this one for some reason, they're like, well, the video in the original was better. Are you fucking kidding me? The original was just... I mean, if you watch it for the first time, it's probably kind of weird and creepy. Dude, this one takes it to the next level. This thing is just... It's just random fucking things. It's... A, the video in this one's longer than the video in the original. So it's just... But in this, in this one, it's just, it's just a bunch of weird, bizarre, random shit thrown together. And, like, one scene that I love is the, the, the finger. There's a nail, and the finger goes on the nail, dude, and you just see it, you know, punctured through. Nail comes off. Oh, dude, it, it's some creepy shit. And then, like, as she's going through it, okay, as you're watching this movie with her, she's experiencing all this weird stuff. So, like, she starts seeing these objects come to life. Like, she's seeing, there's, like, a, a random ladder leaning against the wall. Like, that's all it is. It's a, clip, a little uh, clip or shot of the ladder, and then it got something else. And then at the end of the video, like, the ladder starts falling, whatever. Boom, you, you see the ladder. And when you see it on the screen, like, I watched this on the big screen when I first watched it. Dude, you're nervous shit. Like, what the fuck? That's a ladder. That's the goddamn ladder. Where's she at? Because I mean, you don't know it at the time it's Samara. Like, you know, we know now it's Samara. But you just notice some weird, creepy eeriness going on here that can fuck you up. Like, you know, you saw the, the girl in the very beginning, dude. Her face is all distorted and shit. Oh, that, that shit still freaks me out. You don't know what the fuck to get to her, but you know this ladder's here, and the ladder's in the video. Stay away from the fucking ladder, you know. She gets, like, close to it and shit. I'm like, run, run. You know, it's crazy. Craziness right there. Yes, just, bro and there's a, and like I said, I'm back to his directing for a second, maybe this is more editing than directing, I don't know, but there's a little, little snippet in there where, when she boards the ferry to go to this island, because all the clues are leading her, you know, to the end, it cuts to the next scene, but for a split second, you see the ring, like, edited into the film, and that's just, and it just this movie has a lot of little things like that. That when you watch it again and again and again, you start picking up these little things. Uh, one of them is whenever, uh, and this is what I didn't see. Like when I when I when I seen the first time, I was just so into the movie, I wasn't really paying attention to the details. I was just, I'm living it, you know. You know, she you, you see the video, you know, a couple times before. She watches it, then her uh, ex husband or ex boyfriend, or whatever, watches it. And the last shot, you know, that you see on the video is the well. Just fucking that's it. And it Snow, we're done. There's a scene when the boy is watching it, and she, she, you can hear the video, but it she doesn't really put it together. She's looking for her kid. The kid's out of the bed, and then when she's walking toward the living room, she sees like the TV on, and she runs in there. And sure enough, the last thing you see on there is the well. So you know he's already seen the video, but you look closely enough, dude. She started coming out of the fucking well, and then of course it cuts the snow, dude. When I saw that. For the first time, dude, I fucking jumped. I'm like, that wasn't there before, was it? And I'm freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck? It was that? Had to rewind it, dude. It was crazy. It's still crazy. Even to this day, I still have to watch closer. I'm like, I want to see this, you know, because she doesn't come out that well. For whatever reason, I watch a copy of this, and that's not there, and I don't see her come out that well. I'm gonna freak out. I'm like, you know, I know I see her come out the well once. Yeah, that, that movie, this movie, it's it's fucking crazy. It's just it it really is scary as shit. Another thing I love about this one is, see, this came out in 2002. I don't know if I mentioned that yet or not. And up until that point, we had a lot of movies come out where, you know, someone's being haunted by ghosts, but they're friendly in a way. Sixth Sense, the good, or the Sixth Sense, is a good example of that. Where this boy is being haunted, and I won't go into big rant about Sixth Sense. I have problems with that movie. I mean, we won't get into that right now. But you know, at the end, you find out like these ghosts aren't really trying to hurt him as much. They're just trying to, you know, convey, you know, a message or whatever. Uh, Stir of Echoes did that, where you know, Kevin Bacon seen this dead girl. Once again, that's another creepy movie too. Thought it was creepier than Sixth Sense. Uh, you know, you, you find out that you know she's just you know trying to help. There's a shitty movie with Harrison Ford and, and uh, I believe it's Michelle Pfeiffer. What Lies Beneath? Horrible fucking movie. Same thing. There's a ghost haunting them, and you find out that you know she's really you know, she has a message to relay, whatever. And she she's good overall. She wants to harm those that you know that done her wrong, but in the end, you know she's, she's still good. And this one, they kind of steer you that way. Like, you whole time you're just like, well, she was a, a, a poor little girl. She was wronged. She gets murdered, you know, whatever. Uh, and then, of course, whenever they, they, they kind of release her spirit or whatever to get her out of the well, you find out she's not. I love that because there's, like, that moment. Because, like, I mean, even if you're a movie, a horror movie fan, you know, like, the end's not the end. Like, rarely do we have a movie anymore that just kind of, like, 
Oh, it's a happy ending. Roll credits. Let's go home. So as we're sitting in the theater, like I know something's gonna go down, but I don't. I'm not, I couldn't come up and figure it out just yet. Like I'm thinking, well, maybe the curse is gonna start back up with someone else. Whatever. And instead, like the little boy looks freaked out, and he's just like, no, because like, the mom's like, you know, we let her go, and he starts freaking like, you know, you, you can't let her go. You wasn't supposed to help her. And that's when we cut to, you know, the boyfriend. And one of the best scenes. I mean, once again, I haven't done, like, a list of, like, my favorite scenes. But it's up there. Like, it definitely top ten when she comes out of the TV screen and texts the dude. Dude, that's fucking... And I think it's crazy. Like, everybody will, like, on the... When I looked up on the internet, they're like... Left of was like, well, that scene's not that scary at all. Like, obviously, the, the Japanese... I'm like, no, the Japanese original, you know, it was creepy, yes, but it wasn't that freaky. This is freaky. Like, this, this, you know, she fucking comes at him and everything. Dude, I was just like, I'm jumping in the theater. I don't give a shit. Like, I jumped twice in that fucking thing. Once when she's coming out, like, I'm kind of on edge. And then when like, she gets up and then when she first stands up, she just kind of moves forward. It, it, it's probably CGI. I don't give a fuck, dude. It was scary shit. Yeah, I jumped. Scary shit right there. Good stuff. Yeah, love it. Definitely recommend it. Uh, it was followed by a shitty sequel. A horrible fuck. When this when this movie when it came out, I loved it. I was all over its nuts, whatever. I heard it was making a sequel, dude. And I'm not gonna lie, I got scared. I was like, my god, a, a sequel? We're gonna do another ring? Oh, uh, and I was just nervous to watch it. And of course, in the weeks leading up to it, they had a, a bonus movie come out, like a little, like a ten minute little short film called Rings. And it was like a bridge between the ring and the ring two. And I, you know, bought it, bought like a special old DVD of it and everything. It was fucking brilliant. Like, I love the rings. Like, I guess a good If you get a chance, like, I believe on the special edition ring DVD, it should have that on there. I know, that, like, I got this it's just by itself, but it's, you know, it had, like, other special features. It's like, it's just a bonus disc, is all it is, like a separate bonus disc. But, uh, anyway, it's not on my, this copy for some reason. Yeah, it was really good, so it got me hyped for part two. I'm like, yes, part two, you know. Didn't get a chance to go to theaters and watch it. I'm not gonna lie, I was probably a little scared. I was like, you know what, fuck it. I went through that shit once. I'll wait for coming on DVD. It was horrible. Uh, I wouldn't even waste your time, part two. Like, I don't care. Like, I will not recommend it. I think it's a shit movie. I will probably review it at some point. It's a piece of shit. It's just, it's horrible. They're doing be, uh, first they're gonna part three, and then, uh, it became like a remake, reboot. I I'm saying leave it alone. Really? Like, where, how are you gonna reboot this one? A, a cursed. DVD? No, that's retarded. Just, just leave it alone. This was, this is good by itself. But you know, obviously, you know, the producers aren't listening to this guy. They're re rebooting. It won't be as good. I tell you right now, I will guarantee. Like, I'll lay it all on the line. I will guarantee. Like, my entire, you know, DVD library over here, it won't be anywhere near as good as this at all. I won't even touch it, flat out. So yeah, there it is. Anybody wants to take me up on that? When you know, two or three years come around, when they finally do get around to doing it. I'll be honest, I have no reason to lie to you guys. Like, you guys are the fans. I have no reason to lie to you guys at all. Yeah, if it's good, shit, I'll give my DVD collection. I just know it won't be good. So, boom, there it is. So, yeah, uh, fucking brilliant. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this movie. It really is just fucking top notch. Uh, I think it's uh, definitely a lot, you know, better than the original. So, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got, I think, guys. So, uh, you know, hey, thanks, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and end it on that. So... All right.